Hey folks, welcome to the fourth video in getting started with MCP Toolbox for Databases in Google's ADK. In this video, we're going to be getting started with MCP Toolbox for Databases where we'll just go through some basic theory slides that talks about MCP Toolbox, why it was made, what value it adds, what you can do, and then we'll transition into building our first MCP server and then going ahead and connecting that to an agent and seeing how it works. So we'll go through that step by step. I'm going to be providing you an interesting six step blueprint that gives you an overview of what it takes to connect a simple database to an agent and ask questions and get information on that. So let's just get started. The bridge that we're going to be building between the data gap that we have right now is going to be using MCP toolbox for databases. Think of it as a bridge between your AI agent and your real world data. It does all the heavy lifting for you, translating prompts to SQL, connecting your database and sending structured results back. It manages the entire connection and authentication part. Bottom line, it lets you focus on what your agent should do and not how it connects to your data. MCP Toolbox is a library that helps agents access external tools and databases. It's built for the Google's Agent Development Kit. It works with BigQuery, Postgres SQL, Firestore, and other databases. It handles query generation, authentication, execution, and response handling and generation. Why was it built? I think agents are smart with reasoning, but blind without data. Connecting to a data source back then was extremely tough and it's a developer's nightmare because you'd be typically managing your authentication, your connection, SQL queries, in case you have errors, handling that, result parsing and prompt injection. So that's, I think, a nightmare for, I think, me and MCP Toolbox makes it extremely easy for you to connect your databases to your AI agents. What value does MCP add? It, it speeds up the entire AI agent creation process. It manages all the complexities of tool creation and it is universally compatible that anybody and everybody can deploy their own MCP server for their specific API data or platform. This image shows you of how MCP Toolbox handles it for you where you have your agents for application, you have your IDEs where you can connect it and you can call your MCP Toolbox server that basically connects to you SQL, Postgres, SaloyDB, BigQuery, CloudSQL or any of the other database providers. One note, if you're working with CloudSQL, I'm really going to suggest is to switch off your date or your tables once you're done with it because uh, I didn't do that and I got a 20,000 rupee bill for that. So I'm gonna just recommend you folks to switch off your cloud SQL databases once you're done working with them because they keep incurring a cost. So I learned it the hard way, might as well save money there. So while I was building my first MCP server, I took an overview and understood that there are six main steps to basically connect a simple AI agent to a database that you would want. The first one is to prepare your data, be it BigQuery, SQL, etc. Prepare structured data that you can use. Define your tools in a tools.yml file. Where, and we're going to be looking at what the tools.yml file looks like and we'll be writing our own tools file very soon. After which we write our agent inside of our agent.py file. We start the toolbox server, launch the agent interface and we start talking with our agent. The phase one is going to be authoring your agent and tools where the step one would be to prepare your data. Ensure your table exists in BigQuery. Use clear and descriptive column names. This is what our data set currently looks like that contains the Google Cloud release notes that is going to be the uh, agent that we're going to be building. So we'll be writing the tools.yml file and stuff for that. So this is what the database looks like. This is a public data set that anybody and everybody can access on BigQuery. I'll be leaving the public data sets link in the description. You can check that out. The step two is going to be defining your tools for the agent. We're going to be creating a tools.yml file and using the kind as BigQuery for dynamic queries. After which we'll be setting up the description. That is the most important part where you teach the agent how to use the tool that you're creating. This is what our uh, release notes tools.yml file looks like. Uh, where we have our sources, our tools, and the tool set there. We'll be diving deep when we are building this on our own. The step three is going to be writing our final agent where we'll define our agent name, description, 
an instruction set which in turn is building the core of the agent this is what this is what the agent.py file looks like where we have our imports we have the toolbox server link we're going to be loading our mybq toolset after which we have the root agent where we give it a name specify the model give it a description specify the instruction set and in the end get the tools all together phase 2 is going to be the executions phase where uh, you have to start the toolbox server so that's where we're going to be using this particular command up to which we need to run the agent application that's going to be adk web and in the end the final step is going to be asking your questions and interacting with the agent so the first agent that we're going to be building is uh, the release notes bot it is a simple agent that connects to a bigquery dataset and provides information based on user input the goal is to quickly get the latest product updates without searching the docs the tool set is going to be the search underscore release notes underscore bq inside of my vs code i already have my gcp release agents app already created here with a dot env file that contains my api key that i fetched from the google ai studio after which i have my toolbox dot yml file here followed by the agent.py file here. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is preparing our data set. And uh, this is what my BigQuery data set looks like, where this is the cloud release notes data set that I'm going to be using. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mentioning my sources. So I'm going to be starting off by mentioning my BQ source and uh, the kind for which is going to be BigQuery and the project is going to be my project id after which i'm going to be start starting off by mentioning my tools and i'm going to mention the first tool that's going to be search underscore release underscore notes underscore bq now this is going to be having the same details like kind and my project number but here i'm going to be mentioning bigquery sql after which i'm going to be mentioning my source here that's going to be source and I'm going to say my BQ source. And after this, I'm going to be putting in my query statement. That's going to be the SQL query that I'm going to be using. So, I'm just... so this is my SQL query that I have generated using Gemini and BigQuery. And this is the query that fetches this release notes from the BigQuery data set. And in the end, I'd like to close up my tools.yml file with my final tool set, my BQ tool set with the particular tool. In case you create 10 tools or 20 tools, in the end, just come in here and mention your tools here, just like this. So here you can see our tools.yml file is successfully ready. And let's move towards the agent file now. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is putting in my imports and after which I'm going to be declaring my agent. So I'm going to come down here and this is what my root agent looks like, where I have my agent name. I have the Gemini model that I want to use, the agent's description and the agent's instruction set. And I mentioned my tools here. Now to load the tools, once you deploy or once you start up your MCP server, you're going to be getting a local host link. That's what I'm going to be putting in here. In case you have it on cloud run, that's the URL that you put here. And after which I'm going to be loading in my tools and I'm going to be doing it something like this that looks at toolbox dot load tool set. And that's where I mentioned my BQ tool set. And here we have successfully loaded our tool set and our agent dot py file is ready and good to go. To install the binary version of the MCP toolbox for databases, we're going to be using the following script step that's going to be next is going to be launching your MCP server. So the command that I'm going to be using here is going to be toolbox, which is here toolbox tools file with the tools.yml file. Remember to CD into the particular folder of that agent where you have the toolbox.yml file. And here you can see on successful execution of the command, the MCP server has been launched. Now I'm going to go back to my ADK projects and I'm going to be launching the ADK web interface. And remember, when you do something like that, you should be in your main project and not inside of your individual agent project. You can go launch an ADK web and in a couple of seconds, the ADK UI server should start up. And here you can see the ADK server has successfully launched and I'm going to be opening that up. 
and the, I'm going to be just sending saying hello and the next question is going to be get me cloud release notes tool now you can see it first calls the search release notes tool and in a few seconds it should give me back a response of the latest Google cloud release notes and here you can see it has successfully generated a large response containing all the details that are required. And here you can see we have successfully built our first MCP server. We have successfully connected our first AI agent to a database using MCP toolbox and the Google agent development kit. Now this is just the start. This is just the first basic agent that we have built. In the tutorials to come, we're going to be building out hands-on agents that look at inventory management, a sales retail co-pilot, where we'll be looking at parameterized queries where we can put input from chat and it queries data and gets back information based on user input and query. All the resources are mentioned in the description with the GitHub link and the Medium blog and the playlist link, etc. In the next video, we're going to be building out the two hands-on agents that we talked about and we'll be looking at how we'll be crafting the toolbox file there and building the complete agent out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.